Okay, so here's a tip for you. How to kill a cluster in one easy convenient step and of course earn the scorn of all your fellow users. Basically just do massive IO. Simple. So just a short file system refresher. We have VSC data and that is optimized for reliability. So it has reasonable bandwidth and IO operations per second or IOPS. So it is reasonable, not very fast, not high bandwidth. So basically it is intended to be reliable. It is optimized so that data loss is minimized or preferably non-existent. On the other hand, there is VSC Scratch and that is optimized for performance. It has high bandwidth and it has a reasonable amount of IO operations per second. But again, IO operations per second is potentially problematic. So VSC Scratch node, that is individual uh, scratch space on a node that has reasonable, very reasonable bandwidth and IO operations. But of course, the data must be staged in and staged out since you don't have access to VSC Scratch node once, once your job has finished. So VSC data and VSC Scratch are a shared file system. So that means that if one user messes up, everyone is going to suffer. So that's something that you really have to keep in mind. So scenarios for disaster, IO on many small files. Many very small read and write operations. Sophisticated workflows with files as intermediate artifacts. So the reason why this is potentially disastrous is that there are many metadata operations. So basically modification dates of files are changed, access dates of files are changed, and so on and so on. So each time you do a small write, you get quite a number of metadata operations. And that is actually pretty bad for performance of uh, the file system. So basically, um, that is something that is actually made worse by using worker and A tools, since each work item acts independently. And if you have a lot of IOPS, then actually you will have much more IOPS because each process is doing them independently. So it is very important to take IO into account when you're planning jobs. And often um, implemented via IO redirection in the shell. So basically here we use tool one and that takes input from a file input one and writes output to output one. Tool two takes input from output one and writes its output to output two. And for tool three, etc., it uses the output of um, tool two as a configuration file. It uses some input and it produces some output. So all of this is potentially quite a number of small um, of file operations, but there may be many of those. And if each of these reads and writes happen in small amounts, so basically many small reads, many small writes, then you may have a problem. So you have to plan, you have to think about this. There are some tools to help. For instance, there is data sync, which is quite simple to use. It's based on Bash shell IO redirection, and it requires a parallel file system. It's quite fast. Another option is MemIO. So that's uh, reasonably easy to use. It's a bit more difficult since it requires some setup in your jobs. And again, it is based on bash shell IO redirections. It uses Redis, which is an Indian memory database in order to do the IO. And it is very, very fast. So both of them are pretty new. If you want to use them, contact support.